Ni hao. Today, we are going to compare the difference between qing huang and zhuang huang. Qing huang and zhuang huang both carry the meaning of the situation or the condition. The difference between them is not significant and therefore is often very confusing. Qing huang is used to describe the situation of an event or to describe a situation in a more specific manner. Zhuang kuang, however, is used to describe the condition of an important concept, such as Shi Hui Zhuang Kuang, Jin Kang Zhuang Kuang, Cai Wu Zhuang Kuang, Huan Yin Zhuang Kuang, and sometimes it is used with negative connotation. Let's take a look at some examples. 在这种情况下, 我不知道该怎么办. 在这种情况下, 我不知道该怎么办. Under this circumstance, I do not know what to do. 请你把情况说清楚. 请你把 情况说清楚. Could you please explain the situation clearly? 妈妈最了解孩子的情况. 妈妈最了解孩子的情况. Mother can understand the children's situation best. All these three sentences indicate an event or a situation in a neither positive nor negative tone. In other words, when one said 在这种情况下 or 请你把情况说清楚 they are just referred to a particular situation. Let's take a look at other examples. 他现在的 健康状况怎么样? 他现在的健康状况怎么样? How is his health condition now? 他的财务状况不好吗? 他的财务状况不好吗? Is his financial condition not good? 到底出了什么状况? 到底出了什么状况? What exactly has happened? The first two sentences indicate some specific concepts. For example, the 健康状况 refers to his health condition. 财务状况 refers to his financial condition. Bear in mind, as these are specific concepts indicating the condition, they carry neither negative nor positive connotations. The last sentence, 到底出了什么状况, however, denotes an unpleasant situation, whereby the speaker knows that something bad has happened. To sum up, qing kuang is used to describe a situation of an event or to describe a situation in a more specific manner. Whereby zhuang kuang is used to describe the condition of an important concept such as shi hui zhuang kuang, jian kang zhuang kuang, cai wu zhuang kuang, huan yin zhuang kuang and often it is used with negative connotation. That's all for today. Bye.